What up, YouTube? What is going on? And welcome back to Dante's Rant Room, and I am your host, Dante. And we are back with another video, and as always, I appreciate y'all for tuning in yet again, because your support keeps me and this channel going. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the red subscribe button for more content like this in nerd and geek culture, anime, manga, and gaming. So, Assassination Classroom, an anime or manga that most uh, people would deem harmless, is a story about a group of students trying to save the world by eliminating an ultra-powerful, I'd say even god-level, alien that just so happens to be their teacher. Though he's nice and treats them well, even defends them uh, most times, and teaches them valuable life lessons, um, the threat still remains. If they don't eliminate him some way, he will literally end all life on Earth. Now, this is just some context for those that don't know anything about the story. Anyway, so last we spoke about this manga, um, or rather the anime, it was being criticized by parents after the recent Harvard school shooting where six people lost their lives. Uh, the article says right here, as you can see on your screen, the graphic novel depicting students shooting their teacher found in Florida middle school libraries. Um, the story describes a low-performing misfit student as heroes for the attempts to kill their teacher. So when this happened, this was found out, um, the story being a station classroom, uh, the parents of these said uh, students were boycotted and were um, putting out petitions to get rid of the book from school libraries and they even complained about the fact that it was on Amazon for people as young as 11 and 14 to purchase whenever they want to. Yeah, because like I said, most people would believe that this story is harmless. Well, <clears throat> sadly, we have an update. So, as of today being April 12th, 2023, from Anime News Network, it says, Assassination Classroom Manga Removed from Florida, Wisconsin School Libraries. Oh no! <sighs> I, I don't even know, man, but you just you just hate to see it. Now, what do you got thoughts about this? But before we continue, make sure you guys hit the notification bell. We talk a lot about controversial topics and censorship in anime, manga, and gaming. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video or dislike. Drop a comment to engage in conversation. Share this video. Follow me on Twitter. That'll help us get to 2,000 subscribers. That is the goal. You guys are freaking awesome. And let's get into the article and see what... Uh, Anime News Network has to say. So it says, Glyford Middle School in Eastern Florida removed the Assassination Classroom manga from its library last month after receiving complaints from groups. The Elmbrook School District in southeastern Wisconsin similarly removed the manga from its electronic library last month after a complaint by a parent. The series is, a f is facing challenges in other states as well. In the Assassination Classroom manga and its adaptations, a class of medical students were are tasked to assassinate their homeroom teacher, who is really an alien with superpowers. <laughs> it's just baffling. Because, like I said in my previous video, which I will tag to this video as well, the teacher in question, they don't use, well, from what I saw in the anime, they don't use real bullets. What they use are BB guns, like, they look like little pellet balls. That's <laughs> what they look like, okay? Um, real bullets, real knives have zero effect on this teacher, so they use plastic or rubber knives, obviously uh, created um, specifically to assassinate the teacher, but the knife doesn't do any damage to real humans because it's soft and it's rubbery. Like, literally, if you watch the anime, you can see them bending the knife <laughs> during the show. And the bullets, I'm sure, would do some damage, but they would not be able to unalive or kill any other students or real people because they're just designed to assassinate the teacher who is a yellow octopus looking alien which can destroy the world which intends on destroying the world so yeah like I get uh, no, I don't get why they're upset no, 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 no. <laughs> no this is silly anyway um, before it destroys the earth at the end of the school year. So yeah, they are literally heroes. But anyway, 
Glyphrid Middle School removed the, uh, three books from the series, which has illustrations of students with guns in a classroom from its library. According to Jennifer Pippin, uh, chair of the Indian River County chapter of Moms for Liberty, ah, uh, boy. <laughs> okay. The books were inappropriate, considering the recent school shootings in U.S. Pippin added. Uh, we don't want students to think it's okay to kill their teachers. Well, uh, like I said before, and I'll say it again, the fact that they continue to bring this up is insane. That would be like, like I said, if people were to say, well, people go out there and go on mass shootings and go and do all their crap because they play COD or Halo or any, basically any shooter, right? That's been debunked multiple, multiple times. We've discussed this before, right? So this is, like I said, extremely silly and highly unnecessary. Going on, another group of, um, from Florida, the Citizens Defending Freedom Organization, announced on Monday that it will ch challenge the manga, which can be found in Florida middle schools for its violent and sexually explicit content. The... The organization's national communication director, Kristen Hubber, stated we should all be able to agree that violence towards teachers and explicit sexual content is not something that schools should be glorifying or promoting, especially on the taxpayer dollar. There are way worse stuff in these schools that they should be worried about. This should not even remotely be on their radar. Uh, not even freaking close. <laughs> this book this anime is harmless you know this I'm, i guarantee you if this um shooting which like i said rest in peace to so those who lost their lives but if this never happened this would never have been brought up this would have been in schools from years and years to come no one would have gave a damn not a single soul would have cared about this all these uh, groups and mom for liberties and righteousness and and the cross of Lucifer or whatever the hell they are, right? Would have never had known this existed. That's just a fact. Okay. Um, <laughs> what do you guys thoughts about this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Looking forward to reading your comments as always. Um, I feel you yeah, know my thoughts. This is just silly. Okay. Uh, let's see what else it says. Uh, said the series also challenged in Pender County in North Carolina, where it was described as a work that educates students on how to kill their teachers. What is going on here? <laughs> did, did they read the book? Did they just read the summary and were just like, "Well, this can't be in the schools. It's going to, uh, it's going to uh, um, poison my children's minds. You gotta get rid of it." Like, if you read it or even watched the anime, which you can find on Hulu. Oh, wait, don't tell them that. Don't tell them it's on Hulu because then they'll boycott Hulu, too. Don't tell them that either. Uh, if it, if you you got to keep this away from these people, all right? Um, but if they watched it, okay, I'm sure they see how harmless this thing is. But um, be that as it may, let's finish this out. It says, in Richmond, Virginia, House Bill 1379, which qu requires school principals to keep a catalog of all audiovisual content and keep track of which books contain sexually explicit content in school libraries and make those info available to parents past the House of Delegates in February and is now up for debate in the Senate sub um, subcommittees. De uh, Delegate Tim Anderson, who sponsored the bill, cited assassination classroom manga and said he took issue that the series is available in some school libraries. <sighs> Boy. <laughs> this is where we are. They are now going to target anime and manga because these people, I, I, I hate to say it, they're simpletons. Uh, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. But this is where we are. If you live in these states, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> this kind of sucks. Hopefully things die down and hopefully that they don't target other anime and manga because this is how it all starts. It all starts at one. And when they get access to one and eliminate this one, they're going to start targeting others as well. So, yeah, this sucks. But anyway, 
That's all I got for this episode. A very unfortunate update. But what do you guys thoughts about this? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do consider hitting the red subscribe button. We talk about this stuff daily, Monday through Friday, sometimes Saturday and Sunday. Looking forward to your support. And I can't wait to see you guys' comments in the comment section. See you guys there. And peace.